Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Comic Craft. And last week we <laughs> worked a lot on the third floor up here. I did a little bit of work since you guys have been gone. Here's that glass wall with the water we were talking about. Now, the big thing we're working on this time is a tree farm. And this is going to be our tunnel. Oh, I see you, witch. You can't trick me. Um, now, our tree tunnel is going to do something cool. It's going to come out this way. Our tree tunnel. Our tree farm tunnel. It's going to come out this way. And we're going to go that way. But the cool part is I plan on doing... Let's see here. I really wanted to be able to see outside in the tree farm. So it's going to kind of come over into this range. Maybe a little bit closer. No, I'm not sure. What we're going to do is we're going to replace every block in here with glass. Um, so where you see grass, we're going to put green glass. Where you see the diorite, we're going to put white glass. Where you see the white clay, we'll probably put like light gray glass or something like that. And so the mountain range will still hold its shape. But we're going to have this big glass wall window for our tree farm. And I think that's going to look really cool. I might have to move that tree which kind of sucks but yeah I think it's gonna look really awesome so to start this I need to do a little AFK because I don't have a ton of glass so I ran to the desert off camera dug up some grass or not grass. I dug up a bunch of sand I swear every episode when we start words just become really hard so we're going to take this right now because remember we don't want to put more than a single chest in there and I know that's a lot less than a single chest but I also don't think we'll need way more than this and there we go that should get going now while that's doing its thing and we're waiting to, I don't have anything left in here nope okay so while that's doing its thing I'm just going to AFK right here get our glass together probably get some dye together to craft up all the glass and then we'll get started. Alright guys, we've done a little work. We've done a little digging, as you can tell by the top right hand corner of the screen now. I got a beacon. Um, some of the guys in the small town were selling beacons. And after about half an hour of digging this out by hand with no beacon, I went, forget that. I went and spent the diamonds to get a beacon. They, they're not charging a lot. I think it cost me 15 diamonds for a full beacon. Which is incredibly cheap. But then again, we're selling Wither Skulls on the server for really cheap, too. So, it works. Um, you can kind of see the room taking shape. I know it looks really bad right now. Trust me. So, the plan is, I kind of want this to feel like a natural cave. Uh, GG Ezra. Um, natural cave. I'm going to get rid of all the diorite. We've already talked about getting rid of that. All the dirt's going to be gone. All the granite's going to be gone. I'm going to replace all this with either smooth stone, cobblestone, or uh, plain old andesite, not polished andesite. We're going to make this feel like a cave. We're going to switch the floor out and it's going to be all grass. And this is where we're going to grow our trees and do our tree farming here. Now, I went ahead and dug as far over as I could start to see where the window and the glass is going to go. So, it's going to be a good way. This is going to be a pretty big area. I still have a lot to dig out that direction, a lot to dig out in that direction. Not so much this direction, because um, right here is another cave. You can see our base and all the uh, glorious redstone that is just a tangled web of craziness. So, yeah. Oh, I also did some work over here. Uh, I just kind of cleaned these sections up. Again, with the frame rate. I don't know what's going on with my PC lately. Went ahead and put something in this. Now, this is something that kind of bugs me. All the cobblestone, we've always been putting sea lanterns down here. But on this one, no sea lantern because we're one wide with the elevator. So that kind of sucks. That's why I went ahead and gladly put this here to make up for it. It kind of hides the fact that there's no light right there. And also, I got rid of all the hoppers that were here. You remember last episode, we, this was used to be all hoppers that went down into... That's our hopper that goes into the chest. I decided it'd be cool to just continue the ice path and water down as we're talking a lot. <laughs> He'll be back. But anyways, yeah, so that'll be covered up. We won't see this. It's just kind of temporary. 
yeah, so if we're smelting stuff and we're walking back and forth there, we will be able to uh, see the items. The only problem is, I really wish they had like some kind of half slab glass thing. I thought about putting trap doors so you don't do that whole clunk fall as much. But then you really can't see anything and it's just kind of... Eh. So we're going to go with that. Um, What else? Is there anything else? I think I'm going to continue on digging. And I'll bring you guys back. I won't start the glass without you guys. I'll bring you guys back when I have the like actual size of this tree farm cave dug out. I don't know why I decided to choose an area where I needed to dig out. The one thing about this map is there are caves everywhere. But I chose to do it here in the one solid part of the mountain. <sighs> Fail. Alright guys, we've got a lot done. Okay. Bye. As you see, we're dug out even further. I went ahead and threw some grass down. Um, I'm looking at the size of this, and really, I'm looking at it's not even really tall enough to. The tallest tree can grow like 31 blocks. I want to say we're only 23 high. So we're not even tall enough for the highest tree. But I don't know if I want to go much taller. Because you see all this dirt here? We're getting ready to break the surface. I'm not sure. Maybe I should grab some tree saplings and grocery real quick. Hang on one second. Okay, so they will grow. They do not grow as tall as they do outside in the open area. What am I doing? Let's just do it the normal way. Um, but yeah, so we will have a useful tree farm up here. It won't be the most efficient and oh, why did I do that? Oh, because I'm dumb. Oh, yay. Anyways, it won't be the most efficient tree farm ever, but I, some people like to just grind out digging and mining for diamonds and such. I actually like grinding out cutting down trees. Um, for me, it's pretty fun to just put on music and chop trees. Let's see, can I get up here? I guess we can. I'll have to put some lighting up here. You can see we've been stashing hidden lighting all over the place. But, yeah, I'll probably have to put some lighting up here to make sure mobs don't spawn at the top of these trees. Knowing now that it kind of cuts it a little short. We'll figure it out. I am just happy that this actually does work. Because I was a little afraid that when I read trees sometimes grow to 31. That it may not block at all. Or it may not grow at all. So that would have made me have to <laughs> dig, break surface, and then redesign this whole area. Okay, so progress update. We've got a lot of glass in. Not all of it, because I wanted to have you guys in here. You can kind of see inside. This really does look awesome from the inside. Um, it's a little difficult to tell where I've actually put glass and where I'm not. I did change. I know I said I was going to do grass uh, green. But the green didn't look right, so I've just been doing grass is white. And it's turned out really well because the gray isn't as light as I thought it was going to be. So it's a little too dark for my liking. So, yeah, more white, better. Anyways, inside looking awesome. The only part I don't like right now is this little ridge right here it kind of dropped on the inside so I might push that up one block but yeah with this wall let's get back up and get a good view yes this wall is looking awesome and you're gonna you guys can actually see there the edge of the die right how it's gonna kind of curve in and then back out and then this side we're gonna carry it over and it's slowly gonna slope up now, I'm probably gonna stop it about right there where my cursor is now and then I'm going to bring in the uh, spruce leaves like we did on the patio. 
and I'm going to fill in some spruce leaves all around and have it kind of look like there's some growth going on. But yes, I'm going to get back to placing more glass, breaking more blocks, and next time I come back we should be finished with this and then we're going to be working on a project through this wall to kind of finish up the tree farm. Alright guys, that's it. Our glass wall is done and it looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love doing the glass walls. Um, I think I've got one in, in every single base I've ever done. There's some crazy glass wall and this one, this one definitely takes the cake. It feels so organic. It feels like it still is the mountain. We've just made the mountain see-through, which is exactly what I wanted. I went ahead and left this here. The little odd ends make it feel natural. And when I took it out, it looked really flat again. It's like, know it, I'm going to leave it. Um, I decided against the leaves, mainly because when it is daytime in here, look how bright this room is now. I mean, this was a dark, dingy cave. And when it's daylight, this thing is just is awesome. But back to what I was talking about over here. Now, this is going to be for some big trees and getting little trees grown so I can chop down leaves and such. The actual working farm will be in this wall and we're going to be using the design by Mumbo Jumbo. Um, it's not an AFK farm and it's nothing too terribly crazy because I really didn't want to hurt the server with lag. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and dig out the space required. I'm not sure that there might be... Okay, it doesn't look like there's another cave back behind this thing. I don't know why I just spammed those guys, but... Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, watch the video, make sure I got the correct size. And I'm going to go ahead and dig this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you guys back to doing the redstone. I might bring you back to decorate it, because I definitely want it to look good. We've got so much of this thing looking awesome. Speaking of which, all these torches, they're going to go. I'm going to get some glass or something, and we're going to hide them in the ground. We're not going to see a bunch of torches up on here. But I want to go ahead and get the automated feature done first and then we'll come back we're gonna decorate this section we'll go ahead and fix the ground and I also need to come up with over here is where we're gonna have the transport to over there where our little water wall you guys remember because our saplings and logs and all that stuff and I, every time I walk this way my frames just completely fall apart anyways Remember our drops are going to come down here and they're going to do the little zigzag and they come down, they'll go to the second floor, they end up like right around here or somewhere. So yes, we also have that going on and I'm probably a good bit of ways into an episode now. So I want to hurry up, but I mean, look at this. I mean, <laughs> I can't stop. This is awesome. Um, I do want to shout out to Bank on the server. He did come in here and help me with most of the carving out. Um, it didn't look good but I did it <laughs> it looks kind of horrible so he came in he cleaned it up a little bit gave me the idea of hiding land like he got these little notches dug in there and I thought it would be really cool to hide the lighting behind them so at night the cave kind of glows so yeah I'm gonna go ahead watch the video dig this out and then bring you guys back and we'll go ahead and finish decorating stuff and we're okay the tree farm is built, my chest is full, I have tested out, and uh, here it is. Um, this design is actually really simple, uh, Mumbo Jumbo does a tutorial of it, I'll remember to put a link to his video in my description. Um, the only minor changes I made was this guy, the little on off clock for all the dispensers, was on this side along with the chest and this guy was also down here say a little ready um and I didn't like that I want I didn't want to have to walk past all this redstone every time I walked into the room so I went ahead and moved the chest down here the timing circuit down here and the uh, sensor down here so what's gonna happen is we're gonna grab this guy our saplings we're gonna turn this on What Freddy's talking about is all the bone meal used for this. I went ahead and just bought him out <laughs> to fill up all my dispensers. And you see, when the tree grows here, 
these guys push in and they smash the leaves in just a little bit. That'll help with decaying faster. So we just come through, we chop all these guys down. Now I actually like to save some leaves, so sometimes I'll just chop these down. If if I'm not wanting to save the leaves and just want to let him despawn and stuff, I'll come out here and I'll work on like planting trees out here. So yeah. Um every time so far this thing's dropped exactly six saplings. So I just keep going and going and going. And you see, this is only after three times of running it. So it is pretty quick. We can do birch and everything too. There's some more saplings getting ready to fall. Um, it works out well. So now we're going to get to the decoration bit. Um, and I think I want to move this up onto the wall. I need to figure out how I want this guy to kind of blend in. Um, I'm going to gather some materials and uh, see, answer Freddy's question and all that kind of stuff. See what kind of ideas I have. Okay, grass in place. Let's grab some stone. And figure out how I'm going to do in here. Because I'm going to let in here determine how I'm going to do this little entrance way. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this. And maybe these guys. Oop. Well, now I have haste off. Put that back. Actually, let me cough for a second. All right, we're good. Um, I'm thinking more along the lines of maybe here. We'll go ahead and do some stone action like this, and then maybe bring it out here. over this way again so we'll have a three wide entrance no hang on I'm not liking this so what I'll do is we can do this and I just put it in the exact same spot you guys let me do that I know you did you're like I gotta watch duds mess up again alright so we'll put this guy right here and I think we put a cobblestone wall up through there. Now where do I want to put the on off switch? Because cobblestone wall is going to go here, which means it's going to take up these two blocks. So that means my switch will have to be here. Which means my comparator will have to be here. Let's just go ahead and break this guy out. these guys out. Do I have any more? I need stone half slabs. I'm breaking my rules of redstone. There we go. These guys here. This guy here. Okay, so you will go here. You're here. You're here, here. Negative. And bam. Okay, so that's where our on-off switch is going to go. Awesome. We're going to bring this guy down like this. There we go. So that's going to be the kind of shape we have here. Let's go ahead and just copy it on this side. I know these are spam torching torches for no reason. Or spam clicking. Spam torching torches. What the heck is wrong with me? Problem is I got like three hours of sleep last night and I decided to get on here and try to build with you guys. That's what's wrong with me. Alright, so that's going to go like that. And now... <laughs> it's kind of flat. So what I'm going to do is... Hey, give me those back. I'm poor. I need these blocks. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is bring these guys down. Like this. And do I have any more plain stone? You guys are actually getting to see how I think now, which is a little scary. I'm sure you will find. So we'll go like this. And this, what we'll do is we'll just kind of... Uh. No, I don't want these two. We'll have 
kind of like the mountain grow into the farm through the top I guess I can go ahead and put these guys back and this oop, not that guy this guy right here then we'll go ahead and open this up like so we'll pull it back this way and that's all I do to kind of get my entrance way is really is just kind of pick the angle I'd like the uh, roundness to go to let's do a little bit like that get the craft table at your face All right, and then we're gonna break these guys like so and then maybe wrap around this way Let's just do some kind of random oh, rug blocks. Actually, I need to maybe hide some lighting up here. So when I talked about hiding lighting in these little areas, what I'm talking about doing is I break like two blocks. Ooh, it actually pops up. Don't use your axe. There we go. So we'll put this back. I'll do this guy. And then I just kind of leave it opened. Oh, I have a torch right there. Why would I need more lighting right here? I don't know. I'm leaving it. Going with it. Just got to wing it sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. And I'll put some cobblestone like half walls right here. That'll look good. Now, for in here, do I just want to bring the grass all the way through? Or do I want to do the path kind of thing I did on the ceiling here that I've been doing all around the third floor hmm. I know I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this on this wall because this wall is ugly and I can't really hide um, the redstone it's just so close there's no real way to hide it very well uh, you can see I kind of did a little bit of hiding here but not too terribly a lot so let me get this back wall done and I'll finish out the little texture bits we talked about right here just to make sure I don't get any spawns on me and then I'll bring you back okay it seems like the dog has finally decided to quit barking and what I did here is I went ahead and just pulled this in a little bit I should probably get up and do this I guess I could pull this down too. The only problem is this is a piston that pops up. So what we could do is this, then this. Did I do it over here? No, but yes at the same time. We'll go ahead and we'll just do some random splatter of some stuff. Eh. Eh. We'll do it like that. It's kind of all weird and jumbled through here. But I think we're doing a good job of at least making it look nice. I had to do some hidden lighting down here because these blocks were sitting on like light level 6. In fact, are these good? 9. I don't ever like going below 10, but I know we're good, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, so this is going to bug me until I get up there and do it. Where are some blocks I don't care about? Come on, get up here and eh. no, I actually don't want to do it there. This will probably look a weird, a little weird in itself, because we're at two different uh, levels. Oh, that's gonna chop off the redstone there, isn't it? Don't want to do that. We'll leave it like that. We'll, we'll be a little weird. This whole build's a little weird, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, okay, I like that. I mean, it, feel, it definitely feels like it's a crumbling machine. Like it's been around for a long time, and it may break at any second, which it may. I built it, so I'm not always 
most reliable with the redstone. All right, cool. So here's our entrance. I went ahead and just decided to go grass. Hopefully it'll grow in here and look pretty good. I wanted to leave a little bits of random stone in the ground there. We still need to hide the torches because the torches are ridiculous. And I really do like, actually, I don't like this. Where is some dirt? I really like how the mountain's kind of working its way inside the glass. I think it's really good. And I mean, look at the view. You can't be it. This is why I wanted the glass wall here. So, it looks like Bank finally opened up a slime shop, something the server's been needing for a while. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to work on hiding the torches. That's not going to be fun. It's just going to basically me putting glass over pumpkins or sea lanterns. I actually need to craft a bunch of sea lanterns, so it'll probably be sea lanterns. Um, in here, oh, in here, the last thing I wanted to end with is I have a ton of gray carpet left over from when I was working on the Ender Ender. So I'm thinking just covering the hoppers with this gray carpet. Okay, so <laughs> we're looking good. Went ahead and finished this area out with a little more detail. Put our chisel block there for the on off switch. I probably should put a sign that says on off. Now, I don't know many people who would come here and use this because it's not super efficient, but it's what I need right now, so it works. Went ahead and uh, put some sea lanterns down here. Now, this was a grid pattern <laughs> until I realized, yeah, no, trees grow evenly and this is a negative, or not a negative, a odd sized room, so that didn't work. So it became pretty much spam where I needed light. Next, we're going to do our favorite spruce leaves and these guys. So what I'm thinking about doing is, let's just pillar up here, come on. Alright, so we just we'll do some of this. Just like so. Let's go ahead and go down a little bit. And we'll kind of. I don't know really how to explain it. I'm trying to get the leaves to look like they're drooping down and growing out of the crevices. Yeah, just like that. That's exactly what I was going for. Now that we have that, let's come down here. this a little thicker and then bring these guys down thicken them up just a little bit um, I think that'll be good actually let's hop down and look at it huh yes exactly what I'm going for perfect now I want to take that and I want to bring it to this section over there and then where I have this giant dark spot in this section there. I know there's not a little cave or anything, but if I can do it here and then a little one here, I think that's going to be amazing. Okay, so I checked the time and we are running way later than I want to be, like 10 minutes later. Um, so I'm sorry if this episode kind of feels a little chopped up and stuff, I didn't realize how long I had actually been recording but here it is this is the final product of our tree farming area we have the mumbo jumbo semi-automatic tree farm going in here that'll hit us with some birch and oak real fast we also have this area for our larger trees and some small random ones we might want to just grab leaves and stuff from I went ahead and moved my doggies over here yes I made a dog pen out of bone blocks because I mean that's love right there and then also over here, we've got a item elevator, which I'm actually kind of proud of. Now, it does not work right now. It is set up for 1.9, or not 1.9, 1.11. So you'll see the item, if, yeah, it just kind of gets launched up there. Every once in a while, it does catch one and it actually works. But for the most part, no, this is super unreliable and we're waiting for 1.11.
to use it. As for now, I'm just going to be shuffling back and forth. And man, look at my frames. I don't understand why sometimes they just crash like that. Anyways, downfall. We didn't get this bridge done. I think I'm going to do this off camera because it's not going to be anything big. I mean, this side is pretty much going to be a wall. And then this side is going to be looking out this way. I might carve this back just a little bit so it's not like right in your face as you're walking across the bridge. Um, I've also been thinking about redoing this a little bit while it's cool and stuff. Uh, you don't really... I mean, you'd have to put stuff in a smelter and then run all the way up here and be like, Oh, look, items. <laughs> so it's not as useful as you think. Of course, I say that and I've got an entire thing just for this. I don't know. I'll look at it. I'll do some stuff off camera. Next episode might be another big episode, depending on if I can get worked out what I want to get worked out. Um, but that's it. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time watching this episode. Sorry it's a little chopped up. Sorry it's a little long. But I had a lot of fun. We got a ton of work done. I mean, look at this room. This room is awesome. But like always, guys, if you like this episode, please hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a good one. See you.